coming up on At Your Leisure. Yeehaw! I'm Maria Rossiman. And I'm Chad Ruth. We're going to show you what one heavy winter can do to Lake Powell. I'm Ryan Spray, and I'm going to show you how to take fifth grade students and mathematically motivate them. I'm Reese Stein in St. George at the Gathering of the Clans, a festival of tradition and strength. Okay, lots of things change. Welcome to At Your Leisure. We are going to talk about change today down here at Lake Powell. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. I'm Mark Yardley. And Mark has joined us today as the Commodore of the Yardley Cruise Lines. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Captain Jimbo here, uh, skipper of the boat that we're on today. And uh, I, I believe that uh, Captain Jim said a month ago, he brought his ATV out here and he drove around the rock. Oh, you're kidding me. And now it's got water all the way around it. Thank goodness we're getting some water. Isn't that awesome? Thank really goodness for uh, Lone Rock and the water here because our station, we have a station just right over here and it completely depends on Lone Is that rock over in Beach. Page? Yeah. It's in Beaver, uh, New Haven. New, New Haven. Haven. It's just right it's at the right top here. of the hill. Yeah. Yep. And so most of the people that come and stay here come and visit our store. Of course. Yeah. And last year there was no water here and we had no visitors. How sad. You know, even when we went down a month ago and took pictures of your new cabins that you put in there, yes. Beautiful. there wasn't water here. No. Now there is. Thank goodness. Yeah. yeah. So business should be picking up. Oh, I hope. <laughs> well, it should be after this show because it's worth it. Well, that's true. So let's check in and find out uh, some of the other things that have changed around the lake. It's just you got to watch where you're going. You got to remember where things are, and because when the water comes back up, they're still there, and that's the important part. Basically, it, it, depending on where you are, it's almost unrecognizable because whether it's going up or or going down. Everything changes. There's, it's kind of weird because you know that you were camping you know, right over here last year and the water has dropped 20 feet. You don't recognize like any of it. You know just because of the mile marker, that's where you were, but it does change. It changes everything. And it's easy to get lost here. It's very, very easy in the daytime or any time. So a map's always nice. You know the old saying, I've been to the mountaintop and I've seen truth? Well, we've been to the back of Labyrinth Canyon and we've seen skill because there wasn't a foot of extra space to turn this boat around up there. Man, Jimbo, he did an amazing job maneuvering this baby. And I saw Mark looking on each side just to make sure he didn't, he didn't touch anything. When you, have the, <laughs> when you have the president of the cruise line with you, that's the sort of thing that happens. You better behave. Right. But, um, you know, exploring these canyons is part of the thing that's changed this year with the uh, lake up 30 feet. Last year, you had to go way up the canyon to find what used to be out in the bay, the sign, but you can go further up the canyon until you have to turn around uh, in it with a tooth, toothpick spare space. I Unbelievable, think. this is magnificent. The, the water level right now is just really up, up, up. Let's just keep hoping it goes up. Keep burying up, yep. Yep. That's that burying all this stuff for another generation. Anyway, uh, right now we're gonna take you to this story. Math, science, and motocross? To some, it may seem like an odd combination, but for Carol Brinkman, a fifth grade teacher from Delta Middle School, it was a match made in heaven. We've kind of been enriching our regular core education, and we are taking the outdoor sports into the classroom. We normally like team up with a partner. We do the weather and like state to pass. see if it, the weather affects the race or not. And then we do state facts to see We'll, we'll learn about the place yes. where he's racing. And sometimes we put the state facts into the videos. We, we make, make a, a video, video and post it online to cheer, it online to 
coach here on Mad Parts Kawasaki. The Motivator program was brought to me by Miss Carol, uh, who I met through another racer, Blake Wharton. Blake kind of quit racing and he kind of handed it off to me and me and Carol have uh, kind of tried to vamp it up from there. Um, obviously she does a lot of the, the major work. It's pretty cool to see um, how just a little bit of effort from, from an athlete can really motivate and just really inspire kids to be their best. You know, just to kind of change that traditional school setting to something that's more entertaining, more fun, kind of something they can actually see. Today, the Supercross season wraps up at the Rice Eccles Stadium here in Salt Lake City. Actually getting to see the sport up close and personal is exactly what motivated these fifth grade students. It's really fun. It was pretty exciting. We've kind of been hoping for this basically since the beginning of the school year. We like got to meet him in Zoom calls and this is like way better in Zoom calls. It's really, really yeah. cool for us. Cool. I was 10 years old when I uh, first got my first motorcycle and I was in the fourth grade. Uh, these guys are in the fifth grade, so it's pretty cool to see them and getting to learn about motorcycling and motocross and everything. You know, it's awesome for me when I was that age, you know, I didn't have a lot of motivation from, you know, say my teachers and stuff in school. They said, you need to stick to team sports, you need to do that stuff, you're going to get injured riding motorcycles. And uh, to see a, a classroom at that same age group go through that is absolutely amazing. But beyond meeting their heroes and getting high fives or autographs, the students were also invited to come into the stadium and watch the qualifying races taking place that day. And once they saw the dirt track, they couldn't contain their excitement. Working with these Supercross racers and incorporating these amazing events into their studies also helps the kids to focus on their goals and what they want to obtain in their futures. John's platform has been to dream big and set your goals high. We've had our kids design vision boards. And for the first time, they looked at their future and where they were dreaming big. As I started to watch the pro racing, I just kind of had that goal in the back of my mind. So when I got old enough, that's what I really wanted to do. When I was 13, 14, I told my parents and uh, took it upon myself to, to really set that goal, even though most people would think it's unattainable. Just gave it everything I had. So John has inspired them to just dream big and figure out, you know, what are the steps I need to take to get there? I have like never really thought about my goals before this program. So I like actually started thinking about them yeah. when we did this. For me, he like pretty much taught me like set your goal and even if you miss, even if you don't get your goal, then you still went pretty high. Because maybe the kids that don't excel very well in the grade book can connect to this and they get excited and they learn and setting the goals they now have these big goals for the rest of their life it allows you to take a step back from what you're doing and um, not base your worth off of a race race result because there's such a larger impact to what racers can do outside of just a, a first place finish a fifth place finish i really wish that you know, this grows and then we can continue to do this around schools around the country. Uh, maybe the same school that I grew up going to, that would be a dream come true to be able to do that. And with the Motivated Education Program, they really are making dreams come true. For At Your Leisure, I'm Ryan Spray. The first thing you notice? is the colors. Blue sky contrasting against red horizon, blending Utah. The world goes on forever out here. There's nothing stopping you. In blending, you can ride right from downtown on Recapture Rim Trail, discovering the heritage of the West without limits or boundaries. Don't be held back. Join us in a land of true freedom. Blanding, more to be explored. Wondering where your next OHV adventure will take you? Outsiders Utah has your answer with downloadable GPS routes, ride times, distance, local amenities, and other details. 360 street views of the trails that let you explore before you go and more. Eliminate the guesswork and uncertainty and find a trail you'll love. Visit OutsidersUtah.com and see the trail before you ride the trail. It's time to get out and ride. During the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event, 
with as low as 5.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. See your local Yamaha dealer for huge savings, then get out and ride. Get your new Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, or side-by-side -side today at Stedman's in Tooele. Ride hard, play hard. Daggett, the sparsest populated county in Utah, is full of adventure. Seemingly endless territory, where after a few twists and turns, you can find yourself in a land that feels untouched by time. From desert to mountains and everything in between, Daggett County offers a picture-perfect experience for the modern explorer. It's what you find at the end of your adventure. Mark Twain, you know that was an old saying, not an author's name, to uh, let people know how deep the river was, they would sound with an old rope. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, and uh, you know it's been a long time since I piloted down here, but I used to run every canyon of this lake. In fact, I wrote a transcript for a book that's yet to be published because the lake started getting low. Anyway, uh, we have a lot of interesting discoveries ahead of us. We're making our way to our next place. You check out this story. Welcome back to the Road Force One project here at AYL. We're going to pull the motor out of this motorhome. It's kind of unusual because it goes out the bottom. And normally uh, we have it on a lift, but there is no bottom, so we're going to have to lift it up just enough to drop the mo whole motor out. We have our engine hoist coming through the side window, coming down with a chain come along, and going down onto the floor to pull it out. We're going to drop out the motor, transmission, and differential in one chunk on the ground. People say that can't be done. Well, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, you can't do this without fresh popcorn. We don't care how it comes out. We care how it goes back in. That's good stuff. Got a new boat anchor. You boat anchor. <laughs> now that we are done pulling the motor, we're going to go ahead and hand it off to Scott here, who's going to take it and rebuild the motor for us so that we are ready to have the students install it. I picked it up from Bonneville High. I then ran it up to Rock Springs, Wyoming to Libby Precision Machine. This is how the engine comes to me from the machine shop. Crankshaft's in place. All the main caps are in place. Here's the oil pump. This will fit right onto here. This one is being very tight. I'm gonna bring the welder over and we're actually gonna tack weld that pickup tube. You just do that because the last thing you want is that pickup tube to fall off. With this on, I'm going to seal the oil pan to the engine. And just lay me in a nice little stride. And there it goes. And now, for the final little touches of silicone. A lot of people think I use too much silicone. I don't. You have an assembled long block. And this is the stage that I paint the assembly. Okay guys, hey, all together, sealed up. It's ready to go. It's going to go to Bonneville Garage at Bonneville High. Let's take it up there next. Okay, so now we got the motor back from Scott. We are ready to install. So we're gonna go ahead and lift this up same way. We're gonna put the engine hoist through the passenger window, use a come along and pull it up into place. This time with the transmission already off and we're gonna bring them together at the end. I'm the project manager. So I'm in charge of the RV. So currently right now we're trying to get the transmission in and we have Jim who is helping with us. He has been such a great instructor and teacher for that matter. Right now we've had some problems trying to get the shaft in. It was a pain, but we pulled through and managed. We had to restart many times, but we pulled through. We have the motor installed, we got the transmission installed, all these projects done and ready for the next step. Join us next time on At Your Leisure. And we'll be back with more At Your Leisure. Welcome to the Great Basin. 
welcome to Delta, Utah. In Delta, you'll find more than just friendly smiles and blue skies. Out here, unending trails take you all the way to the border and into hidden canyons you never knew existed. Explore Topaz Mountain in the West Desert, ride for days on end, rock hound, or just enjoy the quiet of rural Utah. After a day of OHV adventure, we'll take care of you as if you were one of our own. Come to Delta. Here, everyone is welcome. Join us on AYL 24-7 with early access to commercial-free episodes, detailed trip itineraries, a look behind the scenes, group discussions and forums, profile and account customization, individual segments, and a nostalgic trip to classic episodes. We want our viewers to get the show they want to see when they want to see it. It's all the viewing you've grown to love and more. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. Count on a Honda generator for home backup power that won't let you down. Honda offers a complete line of generators with legendary Honda reliability built into every one. Plus, our advanced CO Minder carbon monoxide detection system. Select models include Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity for remote operation from your smartphone. And once the storm's cleared, Honda generators are great for anywhere you need portable power. In Enterprise, Utah, you'll find off-highway adventure that takes you where few riders have gone before. From the Pinnacle Trail to Enterprise Reservoir, Flat Top Mountain, and Veo Volcano, you can explore with freedom and an eye on the horizon. Avoid the crowds and discover trails that run all the way to the Nevada border and beyond. If you need something a little alien for your next OHV trip, it's time you joined us. In Enterprise, everything is out of this world. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Uh, we're uh, Typically, this show is not a hunting show, but we are out here in Lake Powell, and the boys said they want to hunt some beaver today because there's beaver. Well, you guys said there's beaver out here, and they're living in the rocks. Yeah, well, not in right? the rocks. They're living in the, in the little green areas in some of the side canyons. Now, we have seen proof because Captain Jim has video that he took on his cell phone of a beaver who lives right up here and came and chased him away. So as the lake is rising, I imagine not everybody is happy about the lake going up. I, I imagine the old beaver is probably a little upset every day. His home's probably washed away. Yeah, because they got people like us trying to, <laughs> trying to find him. So any of, you, any of you beaverologists out there, <laughs> uh, I would like to know, please send us, send us some information uh, if indeed uh, beavers take their logs with them when they move to a new neighborhood, or do they just cut down new ones? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I think you know. they just cut down new ones. Uh, do they? That's my bet. They abandon their homes. <laughs> okay. I think we should abandon the segment. Blazing the trail. <laughs> this is my first time. 79 years old, and I had a long walk to get here. <laughs> this is my first time here. That's amazing. Well, just being with family and enjoying the, the day and the water and find out they have a houseboat here. I thought, they, she, she keeps inviting me to come down. Dad, you gotta come down. So I finally decided, well, I better do it. So it was a great move. I'm, pretty, I'm glad to have the opportunity and it's been a really a great day. My favorite thing on the lake is just hop in my boat and disappear. You know, go, I mean, and explore. There's so, so much to see here. It's, it's gorgeous. Adventure keeps you young, it's enjoyable, it's time to relax, just kick back away from the busy world and your busy life, recreate and enjoy life for what it's worth because we don't know how long it's going to be here. You take advantage of every day that we've got. It's an amazing place to be and an amazing place to spend your time. I sure do love this place. Yardley's Cruise Lines has many ports to call and we're going to head to the next story. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure along the way in St. George at the Gathering of the Clans, a festival of tradition and strength. Hey, I'm Tom Campbell. I'm the commissioner for the state of Utah, Clan Campbell. My clan is Gordon. And this is the target. This is it. Along with the pomp, the heavies have gathered on the green to show off their stuff. Highland Games began in Scotland in the 11th century to determine the strongest and swiftest in the kingdom. 
The games were outlawed after the Scots were defeated in 1746 at the Battle of Culloden Moor. The games resumed in the 1820s and came to the U.S. in the mid-19th century. These Redstone Highland Games, in the shadow of St. George Red Cliffs, consist of nine events. The heavy athletes must compete in all nine to qualify. There's the Scottish Hammer Throw, 18 pounds for the ladies, 22 for men. And the Stone Put, up to 18 pounds for women, 26 for men. This is my first time ever. I've never thrown the stones until today. <laughs> So the friendship, the kindness, everybody's working together and helping each other, it's amazing. Next, the weight over bar toss, 56 pounds for men, 28 for women. The bar is raised after each round. <laughs> then there's the sheaf toss, got to pitch the 20 pound bag of hay over a raised bar. And against the Red Cliffs, the game's iconic event, the caber toss. Just lifting this thing is a challenge. Oh, cabers weigh all different sizes and heights. We're, we're probably about 16, 17 feet here, probably 120 pounds. The weight is at the top. So the difficult part is holding this much of it and trying to balance and then the timing and getting the speed right and everything else right. It's more of an accuracy event than, a, than just pure brute strength. It has to turn end over end and land and we we judge it like a clock face. So 12 o'clock, right straight in front of you is the perfect score. And he got it over. And of course, all competitors must wear the tartan kilt. If you don't have a kilt, there are plenty for sale at the festival market. Here you can gear up with any manner of Celtic kit, including some lethal looking weapons. And there's plenty to satisfy a major sweet tooth. We also ran into royalty. Mary Stewart, Queen of Scotland. Queen Mary and her entourage add an air of gentility to the brawn and sweat of the heavies. The fair also features displays of Utah versions of the Scottish clans. Believe it or not, in St. George, Utah, there is a lot of Campbells, to my surprise, that uh, somehow have ended up or propagated here in, in uh, Utah. This is the Cameron Carton. I love it because it's recognizable. Lindsay Abbott was born to Clan Bell and wears the sky blue tartan. You don't want to mess with this bell. These folks are seriously dedicated to old world tradition. Because I'm crazy. Uh, it's cultural. It's, it's really fun. It's, it's part of my heritage. I like coming out and testing my metal every year and trying to see if I can keep on doing it forever until I drop. The Scots are at it again at the Utah Fair Park later in June and in Payson in July, and the public is welcome. Restein at your leisure along the way in St. George. Introducing the all-new Polaris Expedition. Purpose built to elevate even the most exciting journeys. Polaris Expedition takes you beyond what you thought was possible and drives you towards endless new adventures. Overcome new challenges, explore new horizons, all in complete comfort. The only limit is your own imagination. Keep chasing the wild. At Your Leisure has a long standing reputation and a large, loyal audience of adventurers in the outdoors. Although we're excited to continue to grow and enjoy the shared success of our longtime sponsors, we have space for more. And if you have a brand that would benefit from the two decades of goodwill that we've built, contact us at AYLTV.com and let us amplify your voice above the competition. When you're ready for adventure, fuel your machine with Clear 91. Fuel for performance, fuel for adventure, and fuel for the long haul. Ethanol free, 91 octane. Fill up with clear 91. Only available at Eagles Landing. With you for the long haul. Utah is known for its mountains, but there aren't a lot of mountains that offer you adventure like this. 
Here in Hanksville, we are home to the Henry Mountains. Trails branch off toward hidden bluffs, and bison roam free as if you've traveled back to the days of the pioneers. Come to Hanksville and discover the Henry Mountains. Hanksville, Utah, your base camp for thrills. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You know, Rhea, it sure is nice to get back from a day in the sun, kind of cool off, put in some fresh clothes that aren't all sweaty. Yeah. And uh, be ready for the evening. You know, I really admire your lovely AYL shirt. Well, your hat don't look half bad neither. Hey, guess what? We have an AYL store. Yeah, we really should remind you that you can get stuff like this mm -hmm. on the AYL store. Uh, just go to our website. We have it stocked with shirts and jackets and hats and yeah. we're actually looking at putting in some flags for your side-by-sides that say the United States of Adventure. What we would like from you is go there and shop and buy something but more than that if you got a suggestion what do you think would be cool to be in the store send it to us we might just be able to put it in there. Oh yeah I think we're always up for suggestions. Right. But no criticism. <laughs> Just suggestion. Okay, well, it's our time for payback. Here's a suggestion for you. Take a look at next week's show. Next week, Scott and Tanya Huntsman are joining the Brainwave people at the Ride the Brainwave event. You can bring a Jeep, you can bring a motorcycle, you can bring anything and join in the food and the fun. Then, we're getting an inside look at one of the AYL youngest family members as he starts his journey through the Mini Motocross League when Hendrix Johnson joins up with Edge Power Sports to race. Finally, we're getting a one-of-a-kind tour of the Minnesota North Shore Waterfalls. Yeah, you heard it, and it will be a phenomenal story now. Let's take a look at the upcoming calendar of events. First up, June 20th through the 23rd, the National ATV UTV Jamboree. Down in Fillmore, it's the longest running ATV UTV event in America. It's been going since 1987. Then, on July 6th through the 9th is the Rally in the Pines, which is America's Great Western ATV and side-by-side -side event located where the Lemhi Mountain Range meets the Lost River Range. Wow, next week's show looks really good. It does, as always, and what a good-looking crew from the Yardley Cruise Lines. We've had so much fun today. So we handsome. We want to thank you all for making the day uh, great. Um, it was a little longer than three hours, but it also was a lot more successful. <laughs> you know, there, there is adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure at your leisure. A final sad note, the Eagle's Landing boat that we spent this day on is no more. Tragically, it was caught in the fire at Wawit Marina and was completely destroyed. Because we've been there so many times, we thought it appropriate to share some of the good memories and beautiful pictures that were provided by our time on that houseboat with the Yardleys. Mm -hmm.